Okay, here's something that really makes my brain hurt if I think about it too much. So I want to share it with you. I guess I want to pass along my brain pain. There is nothing special about the number 10. There isn't. The fact that you can do math really easily with the number 10, you probably could tell me right off the top of your head that 10 times 10 is 100. Um, that we talk about 10 for orders of magnitude, right? In astronomy, we use orders of magnitude all the time. 10 to the 5, 10 to the 6. Even just like the fact that we talk about our language, our words are based on the number 10. All of this is just because of notation. There is no like compelling reason that base 10 had to be the system that we arrived upon as using. In fact, base 12 in some ways makes more sense because 10 only has two integer factors, two and five, well, one and 10, but two and five, whereas 12 has two and six and three and four. So it can be divided a lot more evenly, but you know, we use base 10. Actually, I think it was the ancient Babylonians that used base 12, and we do still see some of this um, in the way that we do time. And this is why, you know, an hour isn't 100 minutes, right? And I think one of the reasons that it's just so, so hard to like, I don't know, make your brain think about this is that every time we work with a different base, which we do sometimes. So for example, binary, very famously, base two, zero, one, zero, one. Uh, um, there's also hexadecimal, which if you were ever a little MySpace profile girly, <laughs> You probably know that's what we use for the color codes, those six digit color codes, there's a hexadecimal. And the reason that they have letters in them is because we have a base 10 number system. We only have words for digits zero through nine because we only need 10 digits to represent all the numbers in base 10. But if you have hexadecimal, which is base 16, you need 16 digits and we don't have digits. So we just use letters for those. But I don't know anyone that can just like look at a hexadecimal number and associate it with a number, like, it, you know, envision that number of things or something in their head without translating it back into base 10. It's kind of like learning a language. So if you've ever learned another language, you probably have been through this. But when you start learning another language, um, for example, I speak Spanish and let's say I was like reading the sentence, la mujer corre, like I would think la, the, mujer, woman, corre, runs. And so then I would translate it into English and be like, oh, the woman runs. But as you learn the language more and more and get more used to using it and get kind of fluent, you start to not translate things to your original language. You can actually just read it and have the same concept in your head. So you just read la mujer corre and you think of a woman running just like you would if you read the sentence in English. But there's not really an equivalent for number systems. Like I don't know of anyone that natively thinks and uses a non-base 10 system. I mean, I don't know. I'm only familiar with like the general westernized Arabic numeral number system. So I could be missing this, but, and I've never actually asked anyone. <laughs> I don't go around asking people, hey, are you fluent in non-base 10 number systems? <laughs> but I assume, at least for me, um, you don't, you just translate it back to base 10 always. And so that kind of leads to this association of base 10 as being like the natural base, but it's not. In fact, the natural base is, is E, <laughs> the natural number. For example, if we just used base 12, if you were taught base 12 growing up, then 12 would be the number that you think is really easy to do math with. And you would know off the top of your head that 12 times 12 is 144, which you might not actually know, but it wouldn't be represented as 144. It wouldn't be 144, it would be one zero zero, but you see that number and you think 100, but it's not. And even our language is, you know, our, our language is associated with this. So we have special names for numbers that are multiples of 10 in English and other languages, they do it differently, but it's still all based around the number 10 in any of the languages that I know of. Like we wouldn't have the word 15 because 15 means five and 10, but that number five and 10 would be, <laughs> I have to do this math in my head. You do 12 would get you one zero and then you'd need an extra three. So it'd be one three. But if you see the number one three, I, I would bet, I would bet so much money that you just think 13. You're not gonna think of 15 objects in your head. And like the way that we were taught how to write numbers and how the numbers works, like ones, tens, one hundreds, we would have been taught the same thing, but in base 12. So I actually don't know how most people learned the, the base because I was homeschooled till I was seven. But the way that I learned it is we had these little like plastic cubes, right? And there was one little cube and then there was a stick that was 10 little cubes. And then there was a sheet that was 10 of those sticks. And then there was a cube and you would have the same thing, except there would be 12 things in that little stick. And so you would just think of that number. I like, I'm trying to say this thing that you associate, the counting numbers that you might have in your head. Like if I say, you know, 12 and you can picture 12 things, maybe you think of eggs, a dozen eggs, right? You can picture 12 things. And that right now is associated with one, two. But if we were in base 12, that would be associated with one, zero. It would have its own word. I guess it does have its own word because it doesn't, but even doesn't, I think is probably etymologically based on two and 10. <laughs> So it's really, really hard to even imagine a different system because we don't have the words for it. We don't use it in any like native way. We always translate it back into base 10. And so much of everything we have ever learned about numbers is 
associated with base 10. But there's no reason for that. There's nothing special about the number 10. Um, I've heard that maybe the reason that we do this is because we have 10 fingers and so it's easy for us to count to 10. And so it's kind of like, in that sense, it's natural for us to want to use base 10. But like I said, base 12 was used by some people. So it's not necessarily a given that 10 would be the number that we decided on. Um, and it's kind of crazy to think like, what if we had, you know, three fingers, let's say we had two fingers and a thumb, would we use base six? I don't know. <laughs> it's really cool to think about, but like I said, it just, it makes my brain hurt. 